seeing is believing. So this is how the first image of a black hole was created using interferometry. And so if we go to space, we can make this image much clearer and resolve the photon ray of a black hole. Now this mission is planned to launch in 2031. And so as soon as I heard about the BHEX mission, I knew I had to get involved uh, for reasons that I will not explain. So let's say this is the Earth right here. And we're observing, for example, Sagittarius A here. This is BHEX at a medium Earth orbit of 20,000 kilometers. And our plan is to put a CubeSat in low Earth orbit that can supplement the BHEX mission. How? By decreasing the angular resolution of the final image. Why do you want to decrease the angular resolution? That will help you resolve the photon ring of a black hole. The photon ring is the last orbit that light can make around a black hole. So how would a second light, how would a second satellite help achieve this? The answer is simple. If you look at the interferometric coverage given by a single satellite, you'll see that it's only about 10% for a 30 minute orbit. So moral of the story, a single satellite can cover only about 10% of the interferometric plane. But a second satellite can increase this interferometric resolution by covering more of the VLBI plane and thus decreasing the angular resolution, increasing the interferometric resolution, and giving us a clearer picture of the black hole's photon ray. So that is our proposal. We've already got, in just one hour, we were able to create this website <laughs> that, um, and in just the last hour, I gave a talk on this. We have our entire team, and we've written the proposal in just an hour, which is amazing, but that's it. Thank <laughs> you.